ഇലങ്കോവൻ almost now 12 years now uh, more on the engineering and products i do engineering services for uh, oil and gas skid based process systems okay i have a back office in uh, chennai with some 12 15 people uh, it's more of associate company um, we do it takes job from malaysia singapore indonesia and we execute out of uh, chennai so that you know there is a cost uh, advantage uh, you see that's the way we are serving on the engineering side on the product side we do engineering instrumentation related accessories like you know valves manifolds fittings that type of things we also do some specialized products these products comes out of mumbai i have associate company in mumbai and some of them like orifies venturis we do design calculation we manufacture under our name we are a iso company based in uh, singapore we have our own patent few patents on the flow orifices and uh, flow nozzles we manufacture out of korea and india we deliver to indonesian market uh, malaysian market and all these things last 3 years i am active in malaysia more on the epc that is my background i am from engineers india construction guy you know i have done a lot of construction in uh, india almost uh, 10 years uh, construction field so i started a company in malaysia uh, along with some local partners we have something like 200 people working now we are doing uh, uh, thank you we are doing uh, civil structural work and interestingly that introduction came from mr uh, ilanagai to start the jv there and this happened in 2014 singapore in a convention you know in fact the belly dance was going there and uh, mr elena introduced uh, the partners we were outside and you know we started this okay that's the way we are organized now my current focus is uh, with my experience and the networking uh, i am looking at smart city solutions uh, uh, opportunities in india i am looking forward to work with uh, whoever is interested and where are the opportunities thank you good afternoon everybody first i thank ata to give the platform to introduce and thank all the executive members of the ata i am 1976 btech b chemical engineering graduate from uh, namalai same batch as ilana hai and uh, after b i did my mb in petroleum engineering in namalai and i started my career in bombay with a uh, design engineering manufacturing company for mechanical and uh, equipments for uh, fertilizer petrochemical industry afterwards i moved to uh, a japanese engineering consulting company toyo and i was there for 17 years in bombay and i was involved in mostly petrochemical and fertilizer and some refinery downstream industries design and engineering and uh, follow up construction completion and uh, handing over and uh, afterwards from 97 i moved to middle east and joined uh, a british oil company called petrofac who have an office here in uh, dlf a big office and uh, i worked for 20 years mainly my background in the last 20 25 years is oil and gas and uh, oil and gas related downstream industries and uh, recently about 6 months back i am taking retirement i was actually i retired about 2 years back and again worked on consul- as consultant to petrofac itself completing a project which i was handling i was handling as a project senior project manager completing a project and now uh, with one of my friends who has been in the food industry and who is a hr consul- consultant and management consultant he has started an industry 
or rather consulting and uh, um, training uh, business in UAE and I joined him as a, one of the executive directors and uh, even though my partner is not an IATA member, he is keenly interested in interacting with everybody here and uh, our core business for this is training education mainly for industry related activities for people and then certification and also recruitment and service for other oil and gas, petrochemical, refinery industries and also hospitality and uh, insurance, trading and general purpose, this one. And we are recruiting and training the people. In addition to that, we are planning to expand, expand our business into uh, services, engineering services for oil, uh, gas, petrochemical, refineries and other industries for which we are going to have some tie up with India and look for uh, opportunities. This is one of the platform we are looking for in this meeting. And I introduce Mr. my uh, partner, Mr. Masood Nayak, who will, be, who will be actually the CEO for this company. And he is part, part taking in this as a guest, even though I am the uh, IATA member. Thank you very much. Thank you. Prasad from Singapore. Uh, good morning, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Prasad from Astoria, Singapore. I'm Anomaly University in 1984, E&I, first four years set. Yes, I started my career in MRL as a management trainee for two, two months only. I didn't like the sulfur. So I went to uh, join ISRO as a scientist. During Abdul Kalam period, he was a rocket scientist. We were only a satellite uh, product making scientist. From there, I left to Singapore, uh, or in, uh, for in India, CDOT, Center for Development of Telematics. Then I went to Singapore, Motorola, designing the handphones. Uh, Singapore as well as in the US, I worked in the US as well. Come back, started a company, uh, I didn't do very well. <laughs> then we started back into R&D, heading in R&D for 15 years. Then I moved into, the, after 30 years of my experience, last three years, I'm working as an IoT platform business development as a director for the Asia region. And what is the solution that we are providing? Safety, accountability, and productivity solution for oil and gas. Where the mayor, uh, more uh, human resources are there. See, you, you, most, of, most of the people in India, they concentrate on the process safety. We are talking about the people safety. So right now, all manual method. We are using an RFID technology and the cloud solutions. And using all the gadgets, we can push the information from the cloud. So this is the latest technology we're working on. There are many guys are there. We work with the IoT sensors and devices. This is a good opportunity for us. And I want to tell, I really, really thank to Mr. Ilangovan from Singapore, who is the one who gave me a contact of Mr. Ilangai. And he has given me a lot of contacts. IATA Network is really a great, please utilize it. The any business, networking is the net worth of your business. Networking is net worth of your business. So please utilize it. Don't take it easily. Even starters, as, he, as some of the senior colleagues said that, at any time you can start a business. Provided you have a will, okay? And here's the example. Worked in the service industries for some time, and then started a big 350 crores company. Is so, uh, what do you call CEO? So anybody can do it, okay? And I, I have some more time, or finish still, okay? <laughs> so I will use until the last. So what I would like to say that all the budding engineers, please associate yourself with IATA. IATA is the great, and this is the only, only alumni all over the world, very powerful. Um, not bragging about it, in Singapore, our association is very, very powerful. And when I came, I came to Singapore, when I applied for a permanent resident, if you say you are from Annamalai University, you got a credit to get a permanent resident. After that, only you can apply for a citizen, but this is a concern because all of our seniors who went there and created the platform for you guys. So Annamalai University got, it's not IIT, it's got its own value. So utilize it, it's one of the best platform to interact. Even if you ask me, after 60 years, I don't want to retire. Okay, I'll still touch with the people, networking, and is, this is the key. Okay, thank you very much. Let us give a big hand to the overseas engineers. Thank you. Be ready, please. Good evening, friends. <laughs> Passed out in 84. I am batchmate of Malarkanan. Incidentally, we both studied together. He studied, I didn't. 84, 84 is civilian structures. I never got any job here. So I went in to start a business in, uh, we started a ice cream manufacturing unit. We failed. And then we started a seafood business, which we struggled for almost 
10 years. And then we eventually made it successful. We are the largest live lobster exporter in the country today. We are the largest live lobster exporter in the country. And we also develop properties. We develop under the name of SKCL, we do commercial real estate. We don't do, you know, housing, we only do commercial real estate. Now, I told that we failed to, I see a lot of young faces here. We will fall, we will definitely fall, but you should never stop, you should get up, keep moving. You should pick yourself up. You should definitely pick yourself up. Falling is, eventually you'll fall, but you'll move on and you'll win. And another important message I want to tell you guys is, whatever you do, do it with passion. However small it is, however big it is, don't chase money. You will never see, you, money is always faster than you. It will run three kilometers faster than you. You will never be able to catch it. Drive, do anything with passion. Money and fame are byproducts of that passion. Anything. <laughs> For example, we maintain all our buildings. You can check with anyone. We mop and sweep the buildings the best. Mopping and sweeping is such a bad word, right? But we do it best and we make money out of it. Nothing wrong. Whatever you do, do with passion. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, mythical Meera is passion for devotion. Our contemporary Meera is passion for success. Thanks, Meera. Galaxy Chemicals, Mr. Ilango. Good morning, friends. I'm Ilango, 81 Mechanical Batch, and uh, I worked in R&D of Kirloskar for seven years. Then I started my company, Galaxy Machinery Private Limited, in 1991. Today it's 26 years old, and we manufacture CNC machines, computer numerical controlled turning centers, computer numerical controlled machining centers, and we are into robotics and automation. We manufacture unmanned factories. We manufacture unmanned factories and supply the entire factory to the, the companies. One of them recently supplied is Sundaram Fasteners. A totally unmanned factories, fact, totally unmanned factory has been supplied, manufactured and supplied to them. And we are into uh, more of robotics and automation nowadays because getting operators um, is very difficult and the people are not available to make their hands dirty. Everybody is looking for a white collar job. So we have, uh, um, we have been giving solutions for this totally CNC turning centers, machine centers with automation. That's what we are doing it. And apart from that, we have developed a certain patented product that is robotic valet car parking. This is one of its kind, which is patented, which is not available elsewhere even today. And recently, um, some, somebody else has copied that, like Alibaba warehousing. That kind of a product has been developed originally by us. That is Robotic Valley. We sold this technology to uh, USA. We, we designed and completely developed the software and sold the technology to US company. This is one of the um, noteworthy achievements we have done. Apart from that, we have, uh, um, we have been exporting from 1980 seven and our products are present in six different countries and we have a 24 places sales and service center across India. We have a 250 um, people are in Galaxy. Thank you very much. Uh, next uh, guest from Singapore, Mr. Bhuvanesh, MD of uh, Glo uh, Avanta Global Safety Solutions. Good morning, friends. Um, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm uh, Bhuvan, uh, 1984 uh, Civil and Structures Batch. Um, after graduating, I started working for the local government here, Tamil Nadu Water Supply and Drainage Board, uh, before I moved to Singapore. And uh, now I'm the CEO of uh, Amantan Group. Uh, basically, uh, we are in the education business. So we are specialized in uh, uh, training, academy, Consulting, uh, auditing, skills development, professional development, these are the our major business. We have actually a group of companies under this Avanta group. Uh, recently, we are into the hospitality industry also, uh, food and beverage, 
uh, hotel management, all these actually is a new area we have uh, introduced recently. Uh, we are also into the e-learning um, um, uh, training. So um, it is actually a, a new business for us. Uh, we are growing now. Uh, basically, we are expanding. So now we have a presence in Singapore, India, Middle East, uh, US, and UK. Uh, so we also have a, a plan to grow and expand. Um, we also invite uh, uh, partners, potential partners, uh, through uh, a business collaboration, joint venture, uh, even actually can be a franchising partners. Uh, so that's about Avanta. And also uh, in this academy, uh, just would like to share with you about uh, uh, the accreditations we have, because that's very important for an academy to be recognized, in, in fact. So uh, our accreditation, uh, the local Singapore government, uh, about uh, six of the government and statutory boards, so they re recognize our uh, uh, products and services. And also we have uh, international uh, recognition like uh, in UK and US. So that's important actually. Uh, so that's what uh, I wanted to share with you. Uh, so I welcome uh, any of the IOTA members, uh, anyone to uh, partner with me, uh, either in Singapore and others. Thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity given to IOTA. Uh, next uh, guest from Singapore, Mr. Babu, CEO, Glossap. Morning to everyone. Uh, my name is Babu from Singapore, uh, director for Glossap Consulting Group. Uh, we started very small. We started in 2006 Singapore and expanded our operation to Malaysia and India. Recently, we set up our operation in UAE. And uh, now currently 120 people are here. Uh, we want to do something back to our home country and we set up a sizable office in Edmore, almost 6,500 square feet office. And uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to tell everyone is like, I'm the first generation entrepreneur. Um, I didn't have any roadmap how to go and how to, you know, enjoy the success. Uh, everything what I did was trial and error. I don't want you know, whatever the path which I come across has to be repeated to the, the upcoming entrepreneurs. The most important is the networking. Uh, one thing I would say thanks to Mr. Ilanage for putting the nice word ABN. I'm looking on the other way <clears throat> because 98 percentage of my business from outside. Hardly I took only 2 percent from network. Maybe, you know, uh, that's the style of mine. But when I look on the ABN, I look on the other way. The network is the first one. If you have more network, you get more business. Then if you get more business, you become number A. Is the number one in your whatever the area you are looking for. Okay, and this is a good opportunity for everyone. And uh, take this platform, get all the help. And uh, you know, in fact, my office, I have close to 10 to 15 uh, salespeople. We are spending close to 1 to 1.5 crore every year for getting a business, okay? Here we have, in Singapore, we have 70 entrepreneurs. Here probably more than 500 plus. Why don't we just synergize ourselves, just do some referral and all this? Like every project we take it probably like, you know, 10 to 15 percentage we are spending only for the business expenses. We will share it up. Instead of giving to someone else, why not we, you know, just uh, share those benefit? Okay, for that, all this, what we need is networking. Okay, maybe after the, you know, lunch session, let us, you know, like synergize. And everything is all because of Annamalai. Okay, that's the good starting point for us. We use that as a connecting dot and explore ourselves. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our son is a point. I think it's interesting. It is a very valid takeaway point. It is really worth giving a business to your own IOTEN and you can feel proud of it. Mr. Sashang. Good morning, sirs, and uh, of my friends, my seniors. Uh, actually, I was not prepared for this presentation, but 
Just a short introduction about myself. I'm Shashank, 2007 mechanical uh, pass out from Anamal Industry. Very proud about it. And uh, I've been, uh, 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 worked, I started my career with HCL for two years and I did my master's in uh, NUS Singapore. Then that is where my career with uh, career in Singapore started. I'm associated with uh, AAA Singapore for last four years and there is no stopping. And as what uh, Mr. Babu and also uh, another gentleman had rightly pointed out, I got to know AITA and uh, as I'm working for a company called Sam Dabi, it's a Malaysian MNC. And uh, uh, I started getting this network in even on a business level as well. And I also got generated revenue for my company using this network. So it's proven, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, on, on the forefront, uh, uh, as, a, as a, uh, introducing about my company, we are more on the oil and gas sector, petrochemical sector to be even more specific. We are acting as a, uh, suppliers come now growing as a system integrator in, in, a, in a smaller scale, uh, more on the uh, rotating equipments uh, division. So I am the uh, working as a sales and uh, sales and marketing executive, and I am gaining in more uh, roles for responsibilities for business development as well. So I would like to take this opportunity to to introduce our companies and see how we can collaborate in a bigger level, because there is there is no stopping when you start thinking the world is big enough to explore and uh, have an adventurous mindset. And I'm sure I'm inspired by every seniors who are present in this dais and uh, every uh, feedbacks and uh, networks which I get today, I will val value it as a net worth, as what Mr. Prasad rightly pointed out. Thank you very much. And of course, um, with the technology, I'm trying to do uh, how we can automate agri agriculture. I have been experimenting with aquaponic. I don't know whether you guys heard about it. It is uh, aquaculture, you know, um, you grow fish and use fish waste to grow food. So it is a continuous cycle. So I've been experimenting with that for already for five years. This can be commercialized. If you look at it, you know, you can, yes, you can put this on your uh, backyard or on top of a roof. And this can be commercialized for any restaurants or hotels and things like that. Uh, I'm also studying a lot of um, things about uh, how we can modernize the farming for another 20 years time. Uh, NASA and um, they are doing some research um, to do farming um, on the sky, you know, where there's no uh, sun or you know no air quality or you know fertilizer available so there are a lot of information available on um, on the web so basically they grow plants like a service you know depending on the type of plants you develop a server so that can be you can put it anywhere else anywhere in the, you know, it doesn't matter you know it has suit for the environment so that's the next technology, so engineers can grow plants. That's my interest. Thank you. Uh, next guest, Mr. Satyanand from USA. Tech dose from USA. Hey, Satyanand, I'm from US. Uh, I'm here because of Mahesh, and I uh, wasn't planning to come, and Mahesh called me last week, and then all of a sudden I <clears throat> got up here and got up here. Um, glad to meet you all, and this is the first meeting for me after many, many years, and except for last year with the friends gathering. And it's good to meet all the seniors and um, have a good business community. Um, so what I call myself as I'm an accidental engineer, and I was trying to do something and accidentally got in engineering. And then accidentally, we were doing mechanical production, and then uh, accidentally into computer science now, <clears throat> IT side. Uh, done consulting for 10, 15 years, and with MNCs and US-based companies and moved around globally, and then accidentally entrepreneur again. Um, we, there's no reason why we got into entrepreneurship. We got it. I don't know we failed too much in other jobs, but we were entrepreneurs. Um, we built a, a nationwide product. Um, it's called um, Uberizing the service industry, like home, any home residential services, like painting, commercial, uh, roofing, and whatever thing, right? Um, we're bringing a lot of artificial intelligence component to the product. And IoT, a lot of IoT devices are being utilized in the product. And um, 
uh, we just, uh, simplicity, we just call Uberizing the service industry, residential, commercial, or uh, pets, and automobile, things like that. Good example could be, uh, I think there are a lot of few apps I've seen in India. Uh, what they do is the uh, mechanical, if you're out stuck with some mechanical problems on the roads, you can pretty much call mechanic from your smartphones. Same thing with your, uh, any mechanical damages, or roofing damages to your house, or any plumbing, electricity, this kind of thing. Uh, it's an already launched product, US-wide product, it's called Market. And uh, we have about 30,000 con uh, contractors signed up with us, it's a subscribed uh, product. And about uh, 6,000 consu consumers are logged in and actively using the product. We also run deals and things like that. So that's one other thing. And uh, we want to do something different from other, uh, uh, like Uberizing thing. So we brought a lot of concepts like artificial intelligence, IOTs and stuff. And um, so good example is, let's say, um, the home, home industry much more sensitive. Uh, like, for example, Harvey and the, the floods, Harvey came in Texas. And uh, flood Irma came in uh, Florida. So what we thought, we approached the government there and we, uh, we called this platform. Uh, we said we can Uberize the flood evacuation rescue efforts. And which we had some efforts we saw during our uh, Chennai floods. And we kind of contributed, took the whole ideas and uh, Uberized that concept of uh, rescuing people who are in danger in the floods or any evacuation scene. And it was acknowledged by Florida government and Texas government. We were not able to save a lot, but at least uh, 200 people in uh, Florida about 40 to 50 people in Texas. So we are kind of improvising on that. Um, so that's about the product side, and we, over the period of time, we, we had a lot of engineers and outsource companies in Chennai, Bangalore, and Bombay. So inviting any outsourcing partners from Anamal University will be good to have. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, my name is Singar Avelan. I'm a 92 E&I batch. I started off my career with Dunlop Tires in Ambato. I worked there for around three years. Um, then I went to Philippines to do my MBA at Asian Institute of Management. And then I shifted my career to financial services in IT, which is FinTech. And I worked in Infosys, Citibank, and my last job was with IBM uh, in Singapore. Okay, so I worked there for five years. And in 2013, uh, I took a break from corporate life and decided to do something different, but not what I did before. And uh, that's where I was like hanging around, trying to figure out. And uh, I tried something totally different from the traditional people. In the sense, I partnered with people who are not of my nationality. In the sense, I partnered with a Myanmarese guy and a Taiwanese guy. And the partners are just 20 years younger to me. That was a very different approach, the way you look at it. So then I realized like when you need want to do business, most of the time the fundamental thing is you need to have money, right? But we said we are going to start and do a business without money because there are a lot of people who have money and you can take the money off. So in 2013 when we set up the company, we are a zero dollar company. In like four years now, we are under a valuation of 16 million now. And we have our <laughs> customers as our investors, which is the best way to do it, right? So that's what we learned it's a, it's a very different experience. Uh, all I'm saying is when you look for partners, uh, not always look partners as your, uh, as your customers or vendors. What we try to do is we took university as a partner, right? So we took as a partner. So we took university, which is one of the top universities in Singapore. We took them as a partner because a lot of resources are available in the university. And what I suggest is if you want to move on in the business, try to expand much faster, right? In one year, we start up office in Taiwan, and next year, we are setting up office in Israel, all right? So when you get into these kind of countries, you, you really learn a lot, all right? So that is the best way to do business, and I learn a lot. At the same time, when you want to start a business or a company, try to solve a problem which is very complex and also a problem which is not solvable, right? When you do the competition is very less and that's where we took energy efficiency as a problem and we were trying to proceed on that business. Thank you. Mr. Engineer Kannan Adithan from Australia. Wanna come? <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Kannan Adithan. I was known as S. Kannan, uh, passed out in 86 Mechanical. Mr. Elangovan uh, asked me to come to this meeting. I happen to be in Chennai. 
Uh, I live in Australia. I worked here for five years after graduating and then uh, emigrated. Uh, been working in EPC businesses, basically power, petrochemical. I can see some, you know, people who ears probably pricking up. <laughs> and uh, uh, for the last three years or so, I started my own startup. It's a software company. We've got two products. Uh, one of them is a welding management software. It's for pure traceability purposes. Um, you can manage welding procedures, welders, qualifications, and uh, NDT and everything else, you know, weld mapping and all that. It's a unique product. We are competing with some major multinationals like Kempe's, Weldi, and uh, TWI's welding coordinator and a few other products. Um, we've got another product which is called WeldQ. It's a platform for the Welding Institute of Australia. It can be utilized by other welding institutes as well. Um, we've got five, six employees based in Chennai. Uh, so I frequently visit and uh, I don't have any clients at the moment in India. I'm looking for networking opportunities. So if you've got any questions, maybe you can ask me uh, right now. So I won't really go and talk about uh, my business and my background too much. So any questions I'll take. Otherwise we can network later. Yeah. All right, thank you. So good afternoon everyone. And I'm very much overwhelmed to see all my seniors, my co-batchmates, and my super seniors of Anamala University sitting in front of me. And I'm very much happy to be networked with all of these elite Anamala group. So this is Sashi Kiran from 96 Chemical. So I'm work working as a GM marketing for a private firm, Saravana Chem Dyes. We, are, we were into textiles, dyes and chemicals business. We are a 38, 38 year old company. And now we are diversified into water treatment, sugar process, and now we are into CNC. We have a, a flagship store at Chennai Ispahani Center for iRobo, a domestic cleaning robo, for which we are also uh, setting up a stall here. And as far as my perception about this, ABN is concerned, so happy to be associated because I'm very well aware of BNI, which is very common and which is very famous in our place at E Road. We have a lot of entrepreneurs getting associated with BNI. And one uh, very unique difference, what I find with ITA and BNI is BNI, you have to invest some money, then only you get a membership, then only you can promote your product, get connected with your co entrepreneurs. But ITA, very lucky to say that we have such a big network which is free of cost, which is really encouraging every item to come up in their life. Because in, when I was studying in Anamalina University, we used to say, Anamalina uh, because, yeah, because Anamalina University la padichitom abdi na naka, ulagatla enge vanala poyi nama sarvayi panirla. So that is, that is the kind of environment, that is the kind of self Content, that's the kind of confidence that Anamalai University gives in every one of us because that is a, that's a, such a rare breed than Anu. Because uh, uh, Anamalai has taught me how to be success, but what I took from Anamalai is how to live a life. So that is what I am, and I want everybody to do that. Okay, thank you, thank you, thanks a lot. Kannan. I am Kannan, 1980 batch E&I, first batch of instrumentation. After working for 25 years in power plant, power plant and petrochemicals on the instrumentation side, the life has totally changed. I enter into electrical automation. That's what the opportunity available at that time. I enter into a power factor. I know only cost five when we studied. But last 15 years, I amplified cost five like anything. And uh, we have proved many things in cost. We are unique in power factor. We have done unity power factor. Many people say it is a number, but we have achieved unity power factor. And we are the first people to do power factor correction for a captive diesel generator. Neither Pavarika, all generator company has not done so far. We release the capacity of all the generators. We can maintain 0.95 power factor in generators. And it is a running example for past five years in Chennai. 
Apart from that, we are doing harmonic filters, solution. All we talk is only solutions. We give pakka solutions. We are doing harmonic filters also. <coughs> Many states, KVH billing is going on, particularly Andhra and Telangana. There, our power factor and harmonic filter plays a big role. And unless you maintain unity power factor, your bill will not be reduced. And we are the only people who can done a lot of things on the power factor and the harmonic filter to achieve unity power factor. It's going on. If it comes, that is a very, very big business. Afterwards, it's very difficult to contact me. <laughs> because already I have some 300, 400 customers. Everybody will come back to me for unity power factor. So, thank you. Thank you. Srinivasalu. <laughs> Good afternoon, all. This is Srinivasalu. My, my company name is Maya Systems Private Limited. I finished my electrical engineering in 1995. Okay, we are into energy saving solutions. Like we are giving uh, alternate uh, source of energy, like from wind energy uh, generation, we are giving to industries, commercials. Similarly, from solar plants, we are giving to industries, commercials. Apart from that, we conserve energy to all organizations and commercials. My residence last two months bill, it was only 270 rupees. I have been conserving for not only for me, for everybody who is interested in conserving energy can contact me. Thank you. Uh, good morning, friends. I am Nagarajan, 1977, chemical engineering. After that, I did postgraduate in chemical engineering, specializing in petroleum engineering. I started my career with uh, IFCO fertilizer for one year. Then I was with uh, many reputed consultancy organizations, starting from EIL, John Brown, Idea, which is Saipun today, then Technip Indonesia, Petrofac, finally. I specialized in uh, process engineering, retired as head of the department from Petrofac. And last one year, I am freelancing. I also specialized in providing training services. So I am with a small company called iFluids, which is about 40, 50 strong engineering company. So I, I am willing to provide training services, safety studies, process engineering. People who are interested in these areas can contact me. And I thank uh, IUTA for providing this opportunity and platform. It is the best place, I think. I feel everyone will agree with me that uh, we can serve the humanity, a uh, human, uh, this one, country, I think. I have been contributing to the country by designing many plants, refineries, petrochemicals, oil and gas. Now we, we are free to provide services to the uh, students' community and upcoming engineers. So I again thank Ayuta for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.